header and this is the um, nomadic coaxial QAV cannon and as you can see it's uh, torn into pieces it blew apart two times the first one the rear cap went uh, uh, well it hit my hand and it hurt really really bad um, the, the whole the, the rest of the assembly hit uh, furniture I was level it almost hit the, hit the floor and then hit a furniture the barrel bent I don't know if you can see it so here are some markings I made and I have yet to decide whether I cut the barrel for precision or I just let it this way for energy and speed it blew up at uh, 8 atmospheres nearly so it's nearly 120 psi and um, well I, I even had this uh, threading uh, device I don't know how do you call it it was over here and yet it blew up so uh, for now I have to epoxy all of these things and um, try to um, build up again the cannon because it, it was shooting at over 3 joules at 7 atmospheres so I think the energy goes uh, linearly with the pressure so uh, if I am able to to go to 14 atmospheres I'll be able to go to 6 joules which is pretty good for a 6 millimeter caliber and um, as you can see here and according to SPAT files and SPAT wiki this is not a QAV since the ratio is much larger than 1 by 1 the ratio I think it's uh, the surface area of the chamber which is the whole cylinder minus the barrel and uh, the barrel so we have as you can see here we are having a cylinder like this size this area minus this area is almost 10 times this same area so the ratio is about this and this is said not to be a QAV since the opening force is pretty small since the difference between this whole area and this relative area is you know like 10 by 9 but um, <clears throat> I was wondering then what does my cannon not honk as is supposed to to happen when you have such a large ratio and the answer is and this was I, I was lucky to to make it this way that the piston uh, this this part over here was hollow and so I had to fill it with epoxy with solid epoxy so this is weighing a lot and since the BB is weighing only 0.2 grams and this may be weighing like uh, I don't know maybe more than 10 or 15 grams where when the valve is compressing the pilot volume and about to make the valve honk the BB has already go all the uh, went all the way through the cannon so the honking um, doesn't seem to happen this, way, this is one interesting feature. This over here is also a dead volume that I have to fill with epoxy. Uh, well, I think, now I, that I mention it, that I have to decide if I uh, fill this or not, since the piston would compress a billet volume and, and build up some pressure and, and make the honking. I have to decide whether it is a benefit or not to fill this dead volume. I'll, I'll let you know in later videos. Which is interesting about this um, piston that I made is that I, I used um, 
uh, an old um, bicycle pump. The cylinder is from the bicycle pump. The rear cap, the, the hole is so centered not because I have exp expensive tools. I, I actually don't have them. Uh, there was a hole in there which was for the um, for the hand uh, assembly. So the piston, this purple part, comes from the same cap that I used here to close the cylinder and the barrel. The piston, as you are seeing it, goes like this. There is the o-ring, there is a solid groove, and there is a metal part that was part of the handle where you pumped this part was excuse me so the rear cap was this thing with the hole allowing the handle to move forward and backward and here inside there was my piston that I have uh, taken apart and if you watch closely how um, a bicycle pump works some of them have an open groove on the front and that's because when you pump further this is your cylinder when you pump you pump this way the air goes out over here and so you are pressing the o-ring against the closed groove thus causing uh, compression but when you release the handle the piston tries to 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 be uh, with the cylinder and so the piston moves well it's not the piston that moves you move the plunger and then the piston hits this other part this open groove so the air would go here and escape through the side which is actually what is happen here, happening here. I'm relying not on the air pressing the piston, but on the air pressing the o-ring. Let me explain you. When, I, when the pressure is built up from behind, from the rear cap, the piston at first moves and seals against the barrel. And the o-ring is then moved to the open groove area. I don't know if you can see it. When I build up pressure, let's suppose that the barrel is here. First the air moves the whole assembly, then the barrel closes, and then the air tries to go further. So it moves the o-ring to the to the open groove area. So the air can go can can flow to the to the uh, to a chamber, and then when I open the um, the pilot valve, the the pilot valve, all the air in the chamber tries to return. In case it just moves the piston, it's all perfect for me. But I think that it uh, it has enough enough pressure to move the O-ring to the closed groove, so there is no air escaping to the pilot volume because the o-ring prevents it by hitting the closed groove so open groove, o-ring, closed groove and the o-ring is making that check valve um, process and so what I'm making for the future and this is now pretty a long, a long pretty video Oh, uh, the ceiling face. Many people are complaining about their ceiling faces. Many of them are talking about um, just a piece of rubber and those things. I tried rubber, but it didn't seem to work pretty well. This is silicone. The same silicone that goes for the um, tiles in the, um, in the bathroom. Yeah, that's silicone. It's a transparent one. one. The white one seems to work better, but I didn't have it at that time. And so for the future, as I was saying, this is really, really 
hard epoxy like 350 kilograms per square centimeter which I didn't use here neither here so what I'm going to do is to use that same hard epoxy on the grooves because as you can see when it blew apart nothing actually broke it were just the grooves sliding I don't know exactly why so I'm going to epoxy it and then I may put a screw here just to be sure that it doesn't blow it may leak but it hopefully it won't blow and hit my hand or kill me or something and hopefully I will be able to let this thing uh, away and out and uh, I may have some tests in the in the close future and that's it for today so thanks for watching likes appreciate it and uh, maybe you want to subscribe or something